are here at Hamlin Beach. Woo, ah, Gracie! <laughs> I don't even know where, oh! I'm apologizing in the in advance. This week's vlog, it's just not really gonna flow. It doesn't really have a structure, mostly because like, our week didn't really have a structure. Um, ben is eating ice cream with milk. Ice cream and milk. Tell me someone else's, I've never heard of this before and he does it all the time. This is a Ben Kerry creation. Is it? Love it. Well, I love milk. <laughs> he does love milk. All right, we're gonna try The Greatest Showman. We've been putting it off because we were tired of everyone talking about it. Wait, what? Are you sure that's him? Is that the, 100%. the guy that was in Singles Ward? What on earth? All of that for carrots, Gatsby. Gatsby, come on, it's carrot. No! Okay, let's see it. How'd it go? Do you have a picture on it? No. No? It's just a temporary intern license. Look at that! You're officially a New York resident now. I guess I'm a new New Yorker. Oh, what's also funny is <laughs> she's logging me into the system. Hey, at least you got a new haircut for your picture. Okay. <laughs> I got a nice pimple though. But, <laughs> which will be on the picture. Perfect. When they were logging me into the system, you know, you have, you have to get, they have, you have to get like a new ID number, you know? Yeah. But when she typed in my name and my show show, my- Your I show was, show? I was already up in the system. Why, because of the speeding ticket? <laughs> we came out here for vacation was it three years ago? No, oh, this was for our wedding. Oh, right when we got married. So this was back in 2013. Yeah. We were driving and we saw the New York sign because we were coming into the New York border. And we were like, yeah, New York. And as soon as we said that, we saw these flashing lights come behind us. And Ben gets pulled over the second he crosses the New York bold, uh, border. Yep, because there was a speed limit change. And we didn't know that yeah, and Ben got a speeding miles. ticket not even a quarter mile into New York so, and that's why they have you in yeah. file I was, I was telling her the story that I got pulled over it was night. on it was vacation like 11, it was like 11 o'clock at night when I got pulled over and she said the lady said that that's where she got pulled over too uh several times a day we'll have like at least three deer just right here in our backyard like eating 
but look, today we got one just laying down, like just hanging out, just lounging. on Greatest Showman while the Hi. kids are playing. Hey, babe. You okay? Yep, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, good. I liked it. I probably won't watch it again because while I was watching it, I found myself wanting to like, it's really bright, multitask? It was good, I liked it, it was fine. But I wouldn't like go crazy over it like a lot of people have. It was fine for the one time, and it was good. There you go. Me, me. Christian, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, what? You gonna say a prayer? Mommy. Okay, go ahead. All right, it's my turn to get uh, officially official as a New York resident. I am getting rid of my Utah driver's license. And I swore that I would never do a driver's license with my hair in a ponytail, and yet, here we are. Do I look different to you? I... <laughs> Dumb joke. Officially a New York resident, right here, right here. Ben just secretly mowed the neighbor's lawn. He's so nice. Gracie, did you put your shoes on by yourself? Let me see. Good job. We are being daring and brave and maybe a little stupid and we're taking the kids mini golfing? Oh look, oh look, we're already having some crying. Christian, you okay bud, what happened? He's looking for our hands. Oh, you can take my hand. Um, so we'll see how they do. I remember coming here as a kid. I really did he used to come here as a kid. He makes fun of me because every time we drive by something, I would say, I used to come here as a kid. Anyways, when I came here, I got a hole in one once on the last hole and I won a free game, so take that. For real? Free and free and free and free and free. Christian, we need to get a ball. Hold on, Christian, come back. Gracie, stay right here. We'll show you how to do it. Christian, come right here. What am I trying to say? What are they called? Club. Club. I'm an idiot. <laughs> what did you say? Pop. Pop. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Mobile windmill. Like He'll come with us, yeah, to each. game. 
There's zero wind. And the wind will have no effect in your lack of ability here. <laughs> Hit it in for you. <laughs> What'd you win? A free game! I didn't play golf this whole time. And then when I did, it counted for a free game! <laughs> okay, trivia question. Does anyone know what that is? Most burger places down by the water have endless and free pickles. I know that sounds weird, but it's like super common. Okay, let's go outside and eat them. Getting your cheeseburger. Yeah, for you. Oh no! <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Try and raise your eyebrows like this. Okay, now look at your nose like this. What the heck? Stop. <laughs> Christian, how you doing, bud? Stop it. Bubbles. This week I went back to Palmyra, New York, and I spoke at something called Gathering in the Grove. But they come and they have sacrament meeting in the Sacred Grove, and the night before they have a whole bunch of activities and a speaker and food. Okay, so since I didn't get to show you guys this last week, I'm out here in Palmyra again to speak. Um, I got here a little bit earlier on purpose so I could show you this. The Hilkmora. Okay, so this is Shabe. This is Shabe. This is where they do the pageant. You got your parking there. And then we have the Moroni Monument. So here's what the monument looks like. Now, if I have my church history facts correct, they don't know where on the hill that the plates were, but they do know that it was on this side of the hill. Also, it's so humid here. I wanted just lie down and sprawl out and start crying. So in, in last week's video, if you remember, just on the other side of this strip of che uh, <laughs> cheese, on the other side of this strip of trees, oh my goodness, is the visitor center where the Christus and stuff are. And then this main road, if you go two miles this way, it'll bring you to the temple and the sacred grove. I am not nervous. I don't get nervous when I speak, but I am extremely like, I don't know, I got a lot of butterflies to speak tonight because of where I'm speaking. I'm speaking on the sacred grove and church history sites, which I mean is cool, but mostly because like, I remember going to this when I was just freshly baptized. Like to, for me to go back and not just live here, but to like speak where I was like investigating, that to me is full circle. Yeah. All right, here we are. Just, let me get out of the road. Just right there where that white fence is. Can you see it? That's where the temple is. And then right at the end of this road is the sacred grove. And this is the only LDS church. Um, in Palmyra. Palmyra is extremely small. I don't know why there would be any more than just this one. Oh, 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 hi. How are you? I'm so good. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> I'm so good. Montage. It's rare that 
I'm completely and physically overwhelmed with the spirit. But this weekend, when I spoke at the conference at the Sacred Grove, I felt as if my soul jolted and lit up. I have no other way to describe it except that I was physically consumed with this indescribable feeling shooting through me, where my heart was beating just a little bit faster, and I felt my spirit dancing within me. Though those strong feelings are rare, it was real. It was physical, and in that moment I was electrified with the undenying reality that God was there with us. I was reminded very physically that it is the little everyday things within this church are the things that bring meaning and jolt us and give us these powerful, indescribable, electrifying moments that make life truly worth living for. So today, I am grateful to be refocused that this is all real. God is real. And that is why I'm here. That is why I keep going. That is why I live and share the gospel. I finally found what sets my soul on fire. It's God. It's living for Him and telling everyone how awesome He is. Today, my soul is dancing and thriving. Hulk finger, Hulk finger, where are you? Him I am, him I am, Hulk, you do do. Bat my finger, bat my finger, where are you? Him I am, him I am, Hulk, you do do.